Welcome to week eight of the eight week mermaid transformation. So we've made it to the final week. Hopefully you've gotten stronger as a mermaid over the last eight weeks and hopefully you'll continue swimming like a mermaid going forward. So this week, each workout has about a thousand yards of mermaid swimming in it. So you're going to want to maintain that thousand yards or maybe add to it over the next few weeks as you continue to work out. And just take pieces from previous workouts and work them into a workout that you create or you can go back and do workouts that you've already done but maybe add more repetitions or try to see if you can do them a little bit faster. So we're gonna start with warming up 200 yards and then I'll get on my mermaid tail and we'll begin day one of week eight. So day one has one main set. It's six 100s and so that's four 25s. So each 25 is going to be a little bit different. These are all positions we've swam in before. So the first 25 is going to be kicking on your right side with your right arm leading the way. The second 25 is going to be kicking on your left side with your left arm leading the way. Then you're going to do a 25 on your front, breathing when you need to, both hands in front. And then you will do a 25 yards on your back, submerge deep underwater. And then just come up to breathe when you need to, and then go back underwater. So it's a total of six 100s. We're only going to rest 15 seconds between each 100. Six 100s, different positions on each 25. After your six 100s dolphin kick in those different positions, we'll end the workout with a 400 yard mermaid swim. So this is in any position you want, 400 yards, and that will do it for day one of week eight. For day two of week eight, we're going to do five different exercises. The first four are going to be done in deep water. And then for the fifth exercise, we'll go back to a lap pool. So the first exercise you're gonna do for day two, 10 handstands with flute splashes. So these are when you go underwater, you don't actually touch the bottom of the pool. You get your body in a vertical position and you skull really hard with your hands in order to keep yourself in that vertical position. Kind of imagine like you're a synchronized swimmer trying to keep yourself in that position. And then you're gonna do five Luke splashes and then you'll come up take a breath and go back down again so 10 handstands with fluke splashes but don't actually touch the bottom of the pool the next exercise is going to be 10 leg lifts so this is when you put your back against the side of the pool put your arms resting up on the edge of the pool and you're gonna let your legs go all the way down vertical and then you're gonna lift them up as high as you can till your tips come out of the water keeping your back pressed to the wall the whole time, and then go back down again. So 10 leg lifts. The third exercise is going to be where you touch the bottom of the pool with your hand, and then you shoot up as high as you can out of the water. So shoot ups before we've gone straight down with our heads still pointed towards the ceiling. These ones you're actually gonna swim down to the bottom of the pool, touch the bottom of the pool, then turn around and shoot up as high as you can. So do 10 of these, take as much rest in between each one as you need to to make sure you've caught your breath. And it can be more difficult depending on how deep you are, um, if it's 13 feet deep water versus like eight feet deep water. And then our fourth set is going to be vertical kicking. So this is what we've done almost every week now. And you're gonna do the three main positions we've been doing. You're gonna do, again, your hands out of the water for a minute. You're gonna do hands on your head for a minute and then you do your hands as high as you can reach for a minute. You're just going to do six minutes this time this week so you can do back down to another minute hands out of the water and another minute hands on your head and then your last minute hands all the way out of the water. After you've done those four exercises you'll go back to lap lane and do the final exercise.
On day two, the fifth set we're going to do is 12 25s core roll. So you're gonna do core rolls in three different positions. You're going to do 25 with your right hand leading, which means that you're going to be rolling clockwise. Then you'll do a 25 with your left arm leading, which means you're gonna be rolling counterclockwise. And then you're going to do a 25 with your hands at your side, and you can roll either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. So you're gonna do 12 25s. You're going to rest 20 seconds between each 25. So you have these three different positions, so you'll go through it four times in order to get to 12 25s. Rest 20 seconds between each one. Start with right hand lead, rolling clockwise. Finish up day two with a 400 yard mermaid swim, any style you want. And that will do it for day two of week eight. We'll now go over week eight, day three. So this is our final workout of the eight week mermaid transformation. This day has three different sets in it. And these sets are gonna be done on an interval. So instead of resting a certain amount of time at the end of each of your repeats, you're actually going to do it on an interval. So for our first set, we're doing eight 25s butterfly swim. And they are going to be on 45 seconds. So that means when you leave, on the first one, you have 45 seconds until you have to leave on the second one. And we did this last week in week seven. So you don't have a guaranteed amount of rest, you have an amount of time that you have to finish the 25 in and then begin your next one. So the first set is 825s on 45 seconds butterfly swim. set for day three is going to be 450s dolphin kick and these can be in any position you want. These are also going to be done on an interval. So the interval is a minute and 15 seconds. So you have a minute and 15 seconds to go down and back and then you have to leave again after a minute and 15 seconds. So 450s dolphin kick your choice of position. You can mix it up, do something different on each one if you want. 450s on 115. Our last set is going to be two 100s mermaid swim. So you get to swim this any style you want, however you want to do it. They're going to be on an interval of two minutes and 30 seconds. So two 100s, do whatever you like, swim however you like to, mix it up a bit, and they are on two minutes and 30 seconds, and then you go on to your second one. day three of week eight with a 400 yard mermaid swim, however you want. And this will be the last thing we do for the eight week mermaid transformation. So congratulations on making it to the end of the eight week course. We hope you've had a lot of fun doing it. Keep swimming like a mermaid, keep exercising, and have fun. 400 yards mermaid swim.